if you feel this love for me, this affinity, this appreciation or connection or pull or whatever it is that you feel with me and you feel like I am your spiritual master, I'm your teacher, I'm the guru. I'm just letting you know that whatever wisdom that you feel you're getting from me and the fire of life, it's really coming out of yourself. So you're, I'm mirroring back to you of your own power, of who you are, of your own beauty. And if you act stupid, I'm going to kick your ass. And bring you back. If you fall asleep, and fall into the Maya, the illusion, then I'm gonna have to come and kick your butt and bring you back. But it's out of love. So the number one thing, master, is within yourself you're the one so start paying attention inwards discover the inner voice that speaks to you and it has the wisdom yet in the meantime okay and you see the master in the other world which is the reflection of yourself and i continue to serve you to the point that my mission is succeeded, so you realize that you're the one you are looking for. And I'm only accompanying you to that point because the only thing I'm interested in is a transaction. That's all I care. We meet and there's a transaction. And in that transaction to the force, to the power of the presence, you go through a transformation and you come to awakening. After that, we're done. Move on with your life. You don't need to follow me. You're welcome to if you want but there's nothing I can give you that you don't have. So the master has the power of transmission. So number one is the master. Number two is silence. You can't love, you can't taste, you can't make love, you cannot appreciate. You're not even alive when you're not silent. You're in deep sleep. You're a robot. Your actions are mechanical. It's a program that is working. You eat like a machine. You sleep like a machine. You fuck like a machine. Especially in that area, you can really see it. Because you can pay attention to it and you realize how mechanical you are. So then you come to silence. You become quiet. you discover about silence. You investigate silence. 
and you begin to practice silence. And through that, seek the company of those that they can hang out with you and they can be comfortable spending time with you, but they don't have to blah, blah, blah. And you don't have to blah, blah, blah. Seek the company of the wise. Silent people. Then, number three. Very important. You have to be very alert, especially at this time where we are in this period in our, of the humanity, time, the dimension we're in, and the illusion we're living in. Okay, this is something that is a must. It's got to be your daily practice. You got to do it rel religiously, religiously. And understand it, not just doing it robotic. You have to learn to A, disconnect from devices and distractions. Go sit in a restaurant by yourself and don't get on your phone. And just sit there and look at people and be uncomfortable. Practice being uncomfortable. Often not engaging with your devices and learn to be, but not to be entertained, simply to be. We have to learn that. We have to learn A, B, C, D again. Otherwise you're stuck in your head. You know what they call it? Mind fucking. And it's not fun. So the third one that, that is absolutely a necessity that needs to be practiced is you have to practice to be still. You have to learn how to be still. And meditation, like formal meditation, it is a form of teaching you how to be still. But you have to take the stillness into the events of your life. You have to take it to the everyday events of your life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, no, okay. Do you know what it means taking stillness into the every day's moment? Taking stillness. You take stillness with you into the everyday moment. And you don't start practicing by not reacting to anything. Make that your practice. Don't react. Get into the habit of not reacting. And if you want to react, give it a pause. Wait. 